And basically there was a secure boot bypass, which threatens nearly 200,000 Linux framework laptops. So for, if, in case you haven't heard of framework before, they're kind of a notorious like repairable computer company and they sort of build their devices around like sustainability, repairability, allowing you to keep using the device. Instead of having to buy a new one, you can just buy replacement parts such as like the chassis, the keyboard, all that sort of stuff is replaceable. Um, and they've sort of long been uh, thought of as like a really ideal Linux laptop brand because they have sort of more openness, I guess, um, which I'm not sure if that's particularly true, but uh, yeah, there was basically a secure boot bypass that was uh, around 200,000 Linux computer systems from American computer maker Framework were shipped with signed UEFI shell components that could be exploited by secure boot protections to bypass secure boot protections. So basically an attacker could take advantage to load boot kits such as Black Lotus, Hybrid Petya and Boot Kitty that can evade OS level security controls and persist across OS reinstalls. So I think that's quite concerning that there's like sort of a vulnerability this, uh, this powerful, especially because yeah, it's going to be able to avoid being uh, removed, especially when like a lot of people think that like reinstalling your operating system is like the silver bullet for protecting your um, computer if you think you might have a virus. So kind of getting into like the more specifics of this, I'm um, just going to quote from the article that I think that the fact that this can be exploited to basically um, install a boot kit on your system, which can evade like OS level security controls and persist across reinstalls is quite concerning. It's definitely important if you have any of those devices, definitely check your uh, operating system patches, um, I mean, sorry, on Windows. And I think that you should definitely make sure you're applying these patches because yeah, there's malware that can exploit this.